It is like a flight back in time. You're getting a bird's eye view right now from a plane built more than 80 years ago. The Ford Trimotor plane was first used, the first rather used, for transcontinental airline travel in the late 1920s. Yeah, called the Tin Goose, it immediately became part of aviation history. Now, although EAA has its own trimotor, it's on tour in Michigan, so today it brought one in from Michigan. And Fox 11's Alex Ronallo went for a ride in one of the eight trimotors still flying. Despite a silly sounding nickname, the Tin Goose has a serious place in history. It was a really remarkable airplane in its day. It revolutionized air travel. What made the Ford Trimotor revolutionary is it's the first fully enclosed passenger plane. Before this came along, everything was open cockpit biplanes. In the winter, you weren't going to do it. But this airplane, with little heat, you could actually do scheduled airline service. The Ford Trimotor became the first commercial American airliner serving companies like Northwest and Pan Am. 1929. Colin Susie is the captain of one of only eight airworthy tin geese today. He says Ford made 199 in all, but their popularity didn't last. The Douglas DC-3 came along. It was a lot faster, more fuel efficient, hauled more passengers. The DC-3 knocked the trimotor out of commercial air travel. But despite its imperfections, EAA keeps the trimotor's history alive. The association leases this aircraft from Kalamazoo Air Zoo and tours it across the country. This week, it's in Oshkosh giving flights. To just keep this unique aircraft in the air and let people experience history. It'd be one thing to have it sitting in a museum and you look at it, but something else when you get the ride and you get to experience 1929. Passenger Joseph Strusnick came from North Carolina for the trip. Watching the pilots fly the plane and watching their lips move and not being able to hear what they say and uh, and just you know just, just feel the feeling taking off was 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 tremendous. The feeling of taking off on a flight through history in Oshkosh. Alex Ranallo, Fox 11 News. Now the trimotor is going to be at Whitman Regional Airport through Sunday. Flights will be available nine to five with an adult ticket costing eighty dollars. The pilot telling us the Tin Goose is a gas guzzler. Costs about $525 an hour to fly.